What's good, everyone? This is Dev the Coolest. And this is Ray Bay. And this is JB. And, and welcome, welcome to Slick Talk. Hashtag Slick Talk. With that. <laughs> you can't forget the hashtag, hey, y'all. Hey, we don't want to get sued. Nah. Um, <laughs> I'm well, just joking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a pink shirt on, y'all, so I'm lit. Come on, pink. What? How does that go? But we look good in pink. We, like, we black do. people look good, look good in pink. I've been looking at pink lately. I'm Let's like, change shirts. Let's do it. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> so the shirt can bust off of your uh, raised right. body. <laughs> Ray been working out and doing the, you right. know. I ain't worked out about Bench presses. Uh, um. <laughs> it still looked the same from two months ago. <laughs> Shit don't be changing. Your metabolism is like on a million. Seriously. Goodness well, gracious. Well, I was just saying when I'm 60, shit. It should be. It I think that runs be. in your blood. I think that's in your genes. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. So we, we wanted to talk about... Um, to be a little bit more relatable with everyone, we wanted to speak on our personal experience and what was the defining moments that brought us to where we are individually outside of Slick Talk um, in our lives now. So, I, you know, we'll let everyone just yeah. say where they are in their lives now. And what was a defining story. moment? Or the like defining story. moment, exactly. Yeah. How about you like, start to give us kind of like a... a yeah. <laughs> give us kind of like an example. <laughs> okay, about- so... Well, what I was going to talk about is me wanting to continue into acting. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll just go into it. So um, I am an actor outside of my many other things that I do to supplement my, supplement my income because actors don't get paid shit. But um, I was an actor, or I am an actor, but I took a break between 2011 to 2018. Because I went into corporate and Mm -hmm. I just needed to not do that during that time. But what got me into it initially, I was six years old. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if y'all remember this story. It's called Frog and Toad are Friends. No. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember that? Do you remember that, Nick? Frog and Toad are Friends? (laughs) (laughs) I'm talking to the sound engineer. So um, (laughs) Frog and Toad are Friends is about a frog and a toad that are friends that are like the toad is super old and just grumpy but the frog is super young and like youthful and just like Mm -hmm. yeah so um i was in the first grade uh mr hutch mr hutchson shout out mr uh, hutchson yes class and he cast me as one of the leads i was frog i think i don't remember come on frog right right (laughs) you kind of look like a frog i do a little bit they call me dinosaur in middle school come on dino Um, i look like a dinosaur too apparently but uh (laughs) But uh, no, but that, so, you know, we rehearsed our lines. We had rehearsed. And I just loved the process. Like, I just loved it. Like, I loved taking on another character, like, just escaping, just being from being myself. And then when we finally performed it, I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to try not to, but I feel like I'm getting emotional uh-huh. right now thinking about it. Mm. But we had two performances. I'm crying. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> we had two performances, and um, my. Both of my parents came to each performance, and I just remember going on stage Mm -hmm. and, like, just seeing the audience and, like, you know, just loving it. Like, I was like, I love this. Like, not even so much being the center of attention, but just loving the fact that people were kind of just, like, out of their minds. I didn't think about this like this when I was a child, but putting themselves out of whatever was going on outside of their lives and bringing it just focusing right here to what I can give to them to help them escape. So anyway, my parents came. I feel like I'm everywhere with the story. So my parents came to one um, one showing of it. My mom came to one and my dad came to the other. And they were just so proud of me. And I was like, this is like, I'm mm-hmm. a Pisces. So I'm yeah. creative. Like, this is just like, this is like, this is where I am meant to be. Yeah. So I just led that life all the way up through college until yeah. I let the world squish me down and tell me what success looks like. Oh my god. So Ooh, that's why I was damn. like, I need to go into corporate. I was in corporate for all those years. This. Um and then now I'm back into it. But and even I, I mean yeah I, I'm that's, why, that's where my passion is based. So, is so but real. I just want to say in addition that I appreciate you sharing <laughs> that story. But I can speak firsthand on seeing you in that element, which yeah. was a blessing when you had that performance and that play. Oh Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah. Cinderella. Listen, he was in his element I was in tears laughing. He was completely <laughs> in his element. I was like, yeah. this is what he is meant and made to do because him on that stage, he first 
first of all, like, took everybody's attention right. and put it square on him. There was several people <laughs> right. on the stage. Right. And right. it was just you running across the stage in heels. It was in a heels. show. It was right. a and, uh, I, was, I was in drag. Just in in heels. Terrible. But everybody's like, every good, you know, actor has Listen, done drag. <laughs> but uh, I literally, you stole the show because I didn't give a did. damn about yeah. anybody else as a character on that show. Yeah. yeah. You absolutely stole the thank show. You. Yeah. I, I don't know so. if that's a thank you or not, but. <laughs> no, no, I'm for real. For real. He already knows, too. You... He's trying to play this fake humbleness. <laughs> he know he was the star I... of the show. Listen, I laughed. And he wasn't even Cinderella. He was the star of the show. I was a stepsister. He was a stepsister. And that's, <laughs> that, the show was about the stepsister. Exactly. It was. It was. But, but yeah, yeah, so that, 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 I'm kind of just like putting it everywhere, but that situation of me performing in Frog and, Frog and Toter Friends mm-hmm. was a defining moment in my life mm-hmm. for being an actor. Nice. I love it. I love so it. That nice, is nice. An, a drawn out example. Um, Ray Bay. <laughs> oh, I have several defining moments, but if it comes about, uh, if it comes about passion and art, um, I would have to say, I mean, I've always known I love art since I was five. That's when I started drawing and um, probably wasting a whole bunch of notebooks. And my parents will always wonder, where the fuck <laughs> <laughs> does all your notebooks go? Because yeah. you should have enough for the year, but you went through it already. Um, but when I um, I stayed in Louisiana when I was about nine years old, and mm-hmm. my cousin Eric, who was an amazing artist, he did he did comic art, he did portraits, he did mm. so many things. And shout out Eric, Come right? Out, Eric. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted um, him to teach me how to you know develop my own skills. And he put me on to he gave me homework at home for art, and he um, mentored me into figuring out you know. Um, how to draw people, how to draw so many different things. And I got into comics. And then I started dra- drawing Dragon Ball Z. What? <laughs> right? I would have right. never guessed I, that. No. <laughs> I used to sell Dragon Ball Z pictures in middle school. Come on, hustler. Yeah. I used to make my money. Okay. Okay. You were just selling to Asian kids? No, actually mostly black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, come on. I you would know? have... D- d- I'm in mean, Louisiana. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't even know what goes on right. out there. I went to, I went to school. Um, I went to middle school in Shreveport, Louisiana for six months. Come on, then. Yeah. Damn. Could you imagine what the niggas look like now? <sighs> Like that grown you up, so, you remember that I told you, you that remember picture? back in the day. <laughs> like, could you, you imagine? Anyways, that's, I've, I've had to okay, take we're, it we're, we're getting good getting away from it. We're getting story. away from it. <laughs> okay, but um, Sorry. Just that's asked. for me as an artist. But mm. when I feel like I really started putting soul in my work, it's um, really in college. Um, when I was in, I, I mean, I went. I studied Pan African Studies, and the department that I was part of really helped me realize a lot about myself, my identity. They've empowered both my blackness and my queerness, and it's something I'll always be thankful for. Mm, um, shout out. And yes. for me to be able to pour that back into my work, my mm-hmm. writing, my drawings, and also including spirituality into it, mm-hmm. and help me figure it and finding myself in in ways that I didn't think were possible. Yes. So, in case y'all didn't know or y'all forgot, Ray Bay drew our logo. Yeah, so. I know we mentioned before he drew our logo. He actually does some other drawing as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, some very sexy some drawings. Sexy, <laughs> sexy you know, I'm, you know, I've actually started um, an Instagram where I'm gonna well, shout it out. What's the Instagram? Not yet, not oh. yet. You know, I'm an Aquarius. Think that'd be perfect before oh, you put okay. it out. That's real. I feel that. You know, well, when it comes out, make sure you. Shout I would definitely um, put y'all on, um, mm. but. Yeah, uh, right now I'm investing a lot of my education into my writing. Okay. And so, I don't know, it just keeps the child in me alive. I love it. That's what's up. That's really what's up. And for me, um, so I would say a defining moment, There's just like you, Ray, or just like both, all three of us, there's been several defining moments. But ultimately mm-hmm. for me, what I really see my passion being and what I really am passionate about is motivational speaking. Mm-hmm. I, I don't it. really talk about it a lot because it's hard to get into that kind of like space I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, if you know who I am as a person, I'm generally kind of like motivating and, and kind of like uplifting and positive to the best of my ability. So literally growing up, um, being young, there were several times where I was placed in these kind of like environments where I would see like somebody, uh, a motivational speaker or somebody that was positive come and speak to young kids like myself that, you know, I was, I was turned up. Like I was a bad, Lit. badass little boy. <laughs> Lit. Lit. So there was times where I, was, I would have to go to like these meetings and then, you know, I would see kind of like these, um, these people in my community that are doing something with their lives. Like I remember this 
this one, I believe he was a police officer or probation, somebody that came and spoke to us. His name was Mr. Brown. Mm-hmm. Forget his first name, but his name was Mr. Brown. Had the same last name as me. So I, I felt special when they introduced mm-hmm. him. I was like, oh, we got the same last name. That's you know, my blah, blah, blah. That's my, that's my cousin. <laughs> right. My and cousin. then, you know, he, he showed up and he was just like this big, buff, you know, handsome, uh, <laughs> handsome, bald, uh, lighter complected black man, right? And he shows up and he was just very engaging and very inspiring and very motivating and just kind of uplifted us as young, adult, like young kids. I was like 15, 14 years old. And he was like, don't make excuses for doing anything in this world. You can do anything. I don't care what your background is. I don't care, you know, and my at my time and at that time, I was just like, you know, um, I was like, I don't come from a good background. You know, I'm, I don't have a good relationship with my dad. I felt like I wasn't that smart, you know, and then I was uh, struggling with my sexuality. So I felt like he was speaking to me. Mm-hmm. So um, in feeling that way, it kind of like made me also feel like, oh, I, I want to be like that. I want to come to rooms. I want to go to classrooms. I want to go to schools. I want to go to in places where I can kind of uplift and motivate generations be uh, underneath me or kids or even some adults, right? Mm-hmm. So um, not too long ago, actually, and fast forward, I never put my focus on it. And then finally, um, like a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to speak at a, a school. I forget, I forget the school now, but it was, it was a school it, in, it was Chicago. in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a school in Chicago, I got the opportunity. I reached out to them and told them about my story and what I wanted to do. I didn't want any kind of recognition. I didn't, mm-hmm. you know, want any of that. I just wanted to come and kind of uplift and get a chance to speak to, you know, kids. Uh, mm-hmm. They are actually like foster kids. So it was like mm-hmm. a foster mm-hmm. kind of school type of situation. I have to think about the name. But, um, yeah, so I was able to go to that school and speak to like, I think it was like, 80 something kids. It was a big wow. number of kids. Wow. I remember That's that. That's a nice number. I remember, yeah. Yeah. I remember that too. Ooh, I, was, <laughs> I was really, really nervous, but yeah. it, it lit this fire inside of me yeah. and kind of like pushed me to want to reach that. It like and brought I, you back to it Mr. Me back Brown. To Mr. Brown. And I kind of <laughs> took some of his like. His approach at yeah. that time, you know. You, now you're Mr. Brown, know, literally right? and figuratively. <laughs> I got a long way to go. That man is amazing. I, that man is really, really. But good. you know you, why? You, you don't have, understand that. That's how they could be looking at you right now. And that, and you have everything in you that you need to succeed. Like we are born that. with everything that we need to you're get right. to where we yeah. want to I go, right? That as well. And so it's so. just like climbing out yeah. of the whatever, the whatever doubt. clutter it the is. Doubt. The doubt, that's what it is. The societal pressures, the doubt, and the fears will hold us back. The fear of failure, right? The fear of failure, the fear of jumping, the, the fear, fear of, of what, unknown. what success looks like to other people exactly. and not fulfilling that, you exactly. know? Exactly. It's like, there, there's a lot, Come you on, know? Preach. But it's all literally a pass. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's all, excuse me, not a pass. It's all a path, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's a journey that it we is. each take. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at, at the time, we don't believe that, I mean, sometimes I feel like we don't believe that there is uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. We're like, are we going to be stagnant in this mm-hmm. all the time? Am I stuck in are this we gonna, tunnel? Are we going to be stuck in this tunnel? <laughs> Yeah. Are we going to ever reach our dreams? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've heard over and over again that people, you know, um, were waiting tables or doing, you know, moving to L.A. and waiting tables and doing, and so, you know, just doing mm-hmm. little odd jobs. Mm-hmm. And then it just took one thing to take them over mm-hmm. and reach their, you know, the final dream of what yeah. they wanted it's, to do. It's, and as I long see as you that. just don't lose your sight. Like, don't, yeah. don't, don't lose, lose the drive. Exactly. And don't like, lose the hunger. Because yeah. the thing is, the, and hustle and do what you got to do. Absolutely. And at the base of it, like, we have to survive. Yeah. yeah, we have bills to pay, Period. right? Like in our dreams, as long as you just keep pushing, you have to focus. Do you have definitely to do not get discouraged really if things important. don't happen in a timeline you thought it would. Right, because yeah. it's yeah. never going to happen in the timeline it's you thought not. it would yeah. ever. Even for privileged people, like people that came that were born into money, yeah. that were born into opportunities, born. In, it's not going to happen in the way no. that they thought it would. Or and in the, and the, the way crazy that thing parents. about it is, and it may. You know, even with, and just to piggyback off of that, I think you hit a good point. You know, even people that are born kind of like in opportunity, I mean, born in positions where they can jump on the opportunity of mm-hmm. something, an idea that they see in their mind. Mm-hmm. If it's not for them, it's not going to sustain. Not it's not going to last. What's for you is always for What's you. What's for you is going to always mm-hmm. be for you. And nobody they, will ever be able to yeah, take that away. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, and that will come eventually. Yes. So. I do have a great question to follow up mm-hmm. um, with everything that you talked about in. Um, what a great question. Uh, and everything you talk <laughs> about in your pa- following your passions yeah. and, you know, rediscovering your passions. What, and we also talk about mentors that we've had mm-hmm. that helped us. Um, 
who is your current mentors? Mm, like uh, people, it's, I, I think it's great to shout out people yeah. that yeah. currently inspires us and in doing the things that we love and inspiring us to um, just kind of like follow into their footsteps of completing yeah. things or so, um, realizing. Well, I mean, just to start off, I don't necessarily have a direct mentor, mm-hmm. somebody that I can uh, directly look at and that, you know, coaches me or, mm-hmm. you know, mentors me Yeah, it me could be someone like that, that they don't even know you. They but I, but yeah. what I will say is that I have tons of people that I'm yeah. inspired yes. by. Yeah. Like, naming one is recently I had a very good friend, Shalon, just graduated yes. from college. Shout out to Shalon. Shout and, out. Um, but yeah, so I had her, you know, that's an inspiration. I have a lot of family and friends that are surrounded by me. I, I'm mm-hmm. so blessed and so thankful for my circle. Mm-hmm. So I look to them as inspiration and mm-hmm. as mentors in a sense. They may not see see themselves as that's that, sense, and I may yeah. not see them as a mentor. Like, But in hindsight, thinking yeah. about it right now, technically that's what they are. You guys um, are both inspiration. Yeah. yeah. You know, and um, I, it's a piggy, we love to piggyback well, here. On I was going to actually was, say oh, as, as well, sorry. Oh, oh, um, yikes. I'm glad you corrected me because what I actually meant to say is who inspires you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why men talking out of my head because I was thinking about the two. No, men talking. It could be the same. It could be the same. But um, no, I and I will say that like, like Issa Rae said, we need to. It's important to network across, right? Yeah. And like, not so much look up up to Mm -hmm. like. Like for me, like a Michael. B. Oh, I need to. I need to yeah. get to Michael B. Jordan. I need to get to Lupita. I need to no, get to yeah. these like black faces that are the black faces of Hollywood right now, mm-hmm. right? Like I don't need to get there. Like, but we have people that are surrounding us. Exactly. Surrounding us. Like exactly. I have my best friend. I have Stefan. You know, like Absolutely. like Shout there are people. I have y'all. Like we yeah. had. You just and to to JB's point, like. I don't know if it's mentors as much as people that inspire mm-hmm. and like keep mm-hmm. keep me going. Yeah. You know, yeah. like Absolutely. when 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 like when I'm just like down on myself. Like I'm like, yeah. oh, like I yeah. I don't know if this is for me. Like I'm broke as hell. Like what? Like yeah. I'm supposed to be an actor, but I'm making. I just did a shoot for twelve hours and made a hundred dollars. Like yeah. that's not sustainable, and that's mm-hmm. coming here and there. But then when you have people that are like that mm-hmm. just graduated or like that, like yeah. that are yeah. transcending like the struggle. It's like Absolutely. Ah, it pushes it you pushes to work you. even hard. It pushes yeah, you. Very true. yeah. Anybody so, that's doing it out there, I can look at and get some. Anybody that's reaching their goals or just like on our same level or even above, like I can look and and kind of pull some. Insight inspiration from yeah there's so there's not one specific person for me. i do have specific people in my mind mm-hmm. um definitely fred smith and mm-hmm. Chaz cruz um they were both outcasted la and they both work in the the they both well Chaz actually moved to uc davis um moved to be the director of cross culture center there and Ch- uh, fred is a director of cross culture center at cal state la and they both wrote a book together which we're gonna um talk to them about on this podcast um mm-hmm. in the future and it's called in case you forgot and it's probably one of the best books i've ever read um wow, that's in the good. sense of how i relate to it as a millennial and life and dating and the messiness of it mm-hmm. um also, Thea Monier, um, she's a poet, a writer, public figure, and also a mental health professional. Um, she's amazing. I listen to her podcast, Them Black Mamas, and also she has, she's on yeah. another one called um, All Heart Podcast. Oh, and God. I listen to it religiously. Whenever an episode comes out, I listen to that day because it gets me through spiritually. Yeah. Um, I, as you know, I and lost my good. mom. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the mother wisdom that... I cannot get from her like physically in words. Sometimes I hear it through them mm-hmm. and it helps me through like yeah, that's big. So it's it's really that's big. Really, really big. And also Dr. Yeah. Melina Abdullah, who was a chair of our department, she was like a mom to us. Like yeah. my college experience is different from a lot of people because the type of community that we have, it's like having a family away from home. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's big. That's what it's supposed to feel it's like. It's supposed feel. to feel like. But I think um a lot of times as being black people who go, get into, um, you know, predominantly white spaces, we play the role as white people do. But for her, she was like, no, nah, fuck that. We're going to do a black style. <laughs> we family. It's yeah. like, you know, you come into the family reunion every time you come to an event. Yeah. It was so dope. And she would tell it's us, like, if you, yeah. if you don't have a place okay. to stay, if you're hungry, <laughs> let us know. Somebody is somebody, grandma, somebody, auntie will take care of you, will shelter you yeah, and everything. Yeah. So 
I've never went without in that department. And this Love is it. why I'm so proud of it. So Love to it. all these people, I would definitely tag you. I want to say thank you for helping me be the person that I am today. Um, yes, I would not yeah. be successful if I was. And also, I would not feel like I have somewhere to look to to know that I'm going to be successful in the future. Oh, yeah, that's I really do. good. Yeah, yeah thank mm-hmm. you. A big yeah. thank you. Yeah, to, 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 to my yeah. whole my and whole there circle. there's so many more, mm-hmm. but I could be here all day. Right. <laughs> and that's big. Yeah. yeah, I know my name is on there. But yeah, so... Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all get me through. Y'all, 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 no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm gonna, just joking. I, I, y'all definitely <laughs> get me through because this is therapy to me. No, it is. And yeah. that's what I like to yeah. tell people. Um, that's what I like to tell people uh, that I'm talking about the podcast to. If I'm introducing the podcast, yeah. I'm like, it literally is like a therapy session yeah. for me. Like, I don't necessarily have a therapist. I feel like I should have a therapist. Mm-hmm. But for the time being, you know, doing this, I get a lot of stuff off my chest. Talking mm-hmm. to my friends and everything like that. I'm like, literally, like, this is. And we yeah, hope that yeah. y'all are, like, getting. The understanding that y'all are yeah. not alone and you're not the only ones that are experiencing yeah. the stuff that you're going through, right? Like Absolutely. us three sitting here, like we are just human beings. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that mean, just y'all, started I know a podcast. Know that. We just started a podcast, you yeah. know, and, and y'all can start and, a podcast too. And, and, that's, and, we, and that's why we, that's why we're talking about these things. Like we want you to understand that, like. You're not alone. One, yeah, and two, like it's okay. Yeah. Like you know, it's just like don't don't over think things mm-hmm. too yeah. much like you have what you need with inside of you and you don't need to reach too far from where you are right now to be okay yeah mm-hmm. and the other thing i want to say to people is that just start something because mm-hmm. we didn't know how to start a podcast we didn't know how to make sure it goes a certain way that it works for people but we did it in a way that is authentic authentic to us and people happen to like it yes. so just do something that's for you that other people can enjoy. Because at the end of the day, whatever comes out of it, you should identify where you should be. Definitely. Authentic. authentic. Yeah. <laughs> so just start something. And I mean, I'm also reading myself because I need to keep writing consistently, mm-hmm. be disciplined about that, and also practice my art a lot more and show it show it to people. I, I like to draw and stuff like that, but a lot of people don't see it. Only like certain close friends that I te- I text y'all some shit and you're like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. is he is he in real I life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but. I'm gonna take a random just sharp turn. Okay. Um so who are y'all listening to right now that people do not necessarily know about mm. like that are like up and coming that are like that's my phone but you can give it to me that question I had to like oh, figure no. out hold up hold up that, if but, you can't uh, remember off the top of your head sister you ain't listening to it you're right blue bitty guy 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 two bitty guy you're right mm. um, what did you start Pandora's may start playing in the background but ignore it if it does um, so there is this artist. Her name is Lolo, but I, the reason why I had to pull up my phone is because I have to make sure I say her last name right. Is like Zoe. I. It's mm-hmm. pronounced Z. So her first name is Lolo, L O L O, and her last name is spelled. Excuse me, Z O U A I with the two dots over the I. Mm-hmm. And I love her high highs to Lolo's album. Like. Check her out. Uh, she references the Bay Area a lot. Oh, does she? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. Um, and she she reminds me of a mix of Alina Baraz. I don't know if you guys listen mm-hmm. to her. Mm-hmm. And um, Kehlani. Like, okay. them together. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I have to listen to her. So I, would, I would check her out. So, yeah, yeah see. that's mine. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh Two people that I'm listening to right now. And Meg Thee Stallion. But she's, now she's like, everybody knows who she yeah, is. Yeah, everybody knows who she is. I'm actually going to see her next week. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been listening to her for, for a minute. Well, not really listening to her, but following her. Have you listened to her new album? Yes, I have. Her Maybe new album. Maybe her and Tyler uh, the Creators. I listen to both. Oh, no. I, to I love Tyler the Creator. So like I'm like him. everywhere now. But, don't, but Lolo is, un, like, people don't know who she is. So check her out. Okay, come on, Lolo. Um... Two people I'm listening to right now um, that I really enjoy on my plays whenever they pop up randomly is definitely O2 Saturday. Um, okay. They're from Sacramento, which was pretty dope. And is uh, they're both black, and I believe they both identify as queer, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, but their music is so dope. It's like, it's just, it 
makes you want to get up and be productive. And to, uh, be productive. You know, and even when they're talking <laughs> and, and, and twerk. <laughs> well, yeah. So I listen, ain't nothing wrong with a little twerky. Right, you can twerk and be productive. It's like it's like okay, okay. when you get ready to go out, like you know, you're listening to them. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm feeling this. Um, I, I love listening to their music and how relevant it is to, um, our generation. I want to say, and also. Yeah. I love Quinn and Black's song called Mushroom and Chocolate. Mushroom and Chocolate. Mushroom Chocolate. Uh, mushroom Chocolate? Yeah. It that, is. Yeah. Yeah. That is a really, really... It's so good. <laughs> Let me look at them. Dun, 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 dun. I know the words, but it's like, now that I don't have the beat behind it, I can't really <laughs> say it. But yeah, shout out to Quinn and Black. Like, that song is fire as fuck. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. For me, um, it will be... Have you guys heard of Kiana Lede? Mm-mm. So, she has this one song I call "One of Them Days." It's just one of them. Listen, it's 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 so really good. Hold on, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little bit of. It's called "One of Them Days." One of Them Days by who? Kiana Lede. Kiana Lede. We should all play one song now from them. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but I just wanna snip it. Let me see. Hey, it's just one thing. Oh, I like that. Hey. I like the little, the little pause and go. Yeah. Okay. The no, one like that it. you know has not changed. Exactly. It's just, one, it's of just one of them days. I feel like if you send that to me, I'm going to send it. No, that's but a Pisces this anthem. This because... would be getting me through. <laughs> It'd be getting me. And I would be having that many days, but I just like, I but understand. Because when those days happen, I'm like, listen, so Kiana Lede, you hit the nail on the listen, head. I love I that. So we... I play it over and over again. And then my last one is Ari Lennox. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yes, Ari I, I have my shade butter on today. I have one right. more. I have one more. Actually, my um, roommate, when I was in L.A., I, I have a roommate that's a singer, and she started this group called City Rabbits. Mm. And she's so dope. I was, like, one of her biggest fans because okay. her, so what, her lyrics, her style? <sighs> her style is very authentic. It's very, um, it's very alternative. Like, okay. I don't think I can put her in a box. Okay. But I just know that I like when I hear it, you know? And she's, it's a vibe. you know, she's won a couple uh, competitions on campus for her music. And I'm just saying, like, no. she is so dope, for real, for real. And I'm, like, waiting for her to be, you know, headlining Coachella or something. To be so, honest with you, not to yeah. interrupt you, but I do want to shout out Devery. Because mm-hmm. Devery, be fi- I don't know because he was working at Pandora at that time. <laughs> and he was like, coming across all this new music. But he'd be finding them because he introduced me to her. And then her blew up. Oh, yeah. Before, it would, before her was her. her the and internet. then he introduced the, the internet. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say the internet. It's just because I'm not a, I'm still not, like, really Who's sold on the internet. That now, but overall, they're big. Overall, like, they're going to be. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But it's, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe I should go into that. Possibly. I mean, make I a start know. a playlist or something. I don't know. Start but, a play with, but playlist no, with really different songs like, and everything. If like, when y'all are driving home or when y'all mm-hmm. at home, listen to Lolo. Like, she's, so she's, like, bilingual, so she, like, it has French in there sometimes. Oh, no, no. So, but I will say, my roommate also, her and I bounce artists yeah. off each other. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Katie. Like, okay. yeah, Listen, Katie. I, I follow Katie. her uh, little page so on I Instagram. Saw her today, KT. Yeah. Dot- the letters KT dot yeah. S-O-T-D. And she's also a DJ. So yeah, that works she's out a DJ. So she's like, but we bounce stuff love, off each other all, all the time. With that, I love DJs. I want to shout out to the DJs. I love DJs that play up and coming artists and yeah. songs that are not that popular yeah. and just take the chance. Yeah. If I was a DJ, which I've DJed a couple of times, if I was really still DJing right now, that's what my mood would be. That's what my vibe would be. be like, oh, I'm me like, Shazam this. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I heard this song by K. Michelle the other day by a DJ. I'm like, I literally, have never heard that song before but, but all this playing the same old yeah. popular music that we hear all the time on the radio or that we have it's on our over. playlist it's like don't do that yeah, like play up and coming artists they already made it yeah. right? these up and coming artists are They'll really trying fine. to do it there's some That's real true. talent out here already you and know I mean, what I'm saying They'll and the thing is I also need to check myself too because as a, a listener or a viewer, sometimes I'm such a creature of habit. Like I go to what I already I have, I and I'm like, because we're comfortable. We know, yeah. what to right? Expect. It's like okay, right. well, then. but also I'm still I waiting just, for hers album. I just okay. you know <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> take the extra time to go venture and be like okay yeah. you're on YouTube or it's just like if I have a new artist on my phone, yeah. literally it 
somebody beat this into me. <laughs> well, the great thing, to what yeah. I would say real fast, and then I'll stop. The great thing about the <laughs> the music streaming app that I use, Tido, <laughs> shout out to Tido, shout is the Tido. fact that now what I love is they've done, and they've other apps have probably already done it, but mm. I only mess with Tido. So what they have done is that they start a play, they start like a playlist off mm. of the last song that you listen to. Okay. Mm. So say for example, uh, a song comes on by let's say Trey Zones. Congratulations, mm. Trey Zones, just had a baby. Yeah. But say Trey Songz, <laughs> a song by Trey Songz just came on, it'll start playing artists after him that sound similar to his mm. sound. It's like an autoplay. So that's yeah. what I would say. It's okay. Like whatever music app, oh, uh, what music app do you listen to? I have Tidal. I have. Yeah, if you have Tidal, yeah. just play a song and then it'll show artists that are similar to that. And Tidal is amazing because they put our type of music, like, you mm-hmm. know, hip hop mm-hmm. and uh, R&B type of music first before any other type of music. Okay. That's why I love it. And, you know, it'll play music that are similar to that. I do and love the Afro Beats play this song. Listen, right? Listen. Okay. Like if you take me home. On the way out here. <laughs> people really listening to other uh, using the listen to music other than title. Title is the truth. Like okay. for real. Yeah, but, that's, uh, yeah. I, lo- I love Afrobeats. Um so shout out to Afrobeats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and title. But and title. um Okay. Period. Period. <laughs> like we in Miami. Period. Like I've been saying that so Free long. JT. Out. Okay. Period. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually a good question, though. I like uplifting new and up. I like the idea of yeah. uplifting new and upcoming artists. Yeah, and, and the same thing with with podcasts. Yeah, I love that you guys. You know, just um, get off my high horse, mm-hmm. but I love that you guys <laughs> have your little podcast that you listen to. Like not the little, yeah. they're not little. Okay, well, Don't I love that you guys podcast. have po- little podcast. Don't period. Say that. <laughs> podcast that you guys listen to. So shady. Uh, <laughs> that you guys listen to, but it's it's always a good thing to venture out and try to listen to other things. I'm mm-hmm. not saying you necessarily have to listen. Listen to ours. And we encourage good, y'all to listen to other podcasts. We encourage you to listen to ours. other things yeah. because people are already established. People are already made it. People already have their platform. Give other people a chance. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. Okay, I'm we just going to say more. period okay, today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but no, that's, that's real. Though. I'm sorry. No, that's really real. No, I and they're not little. I take that back. There are some yeah. people that really yeah. like I, we, out there doing every, it. Our listeners know JB mm-hmm. at this yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank y'all so much for listening to our talks about our stories and. Mm. We hope that you guys feel encouraged and will check out these new artists that are up and coming. Mm-hmm. I know I keep turning away, but uh, thank y'all for listening to another episode of episode of. What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you what? okay? That's your thing. Got to you? another episode of Pack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, okay, no more Jameson I'll in the studio. Wait, Thank you, you for listening to another episode of Hashtag Slick, Slick Talk. Talk. We yes. appreciate you guys so much, and make sure you keep on tuning in. Comments. Support, scream, scream, <laughs> <laughs> scream. <laughs> okay. subscribe, tell a friend. Oh, and also. Oh, Tommy we'll T's. That oh, Tommy T's by then. We have fun at Tommy T's. We'll talk about our, we'll talk about our experience. live, our personal live experience. But we hope that y'all were there because if y'all wasn't there at the live, y'all missed the live tree. <laughs> exactly, period. We were okay. thick. <laughs> anyway. All right. We'll talk All right, to you bye, y'all. We love bye. y'all. Love yes. y'all. <laughs>